UK GBC has a mission to radically improve the sustainability of the built environment by mitigating against and adapting to climate change. The UK urgently needs to decarbonise its built environment, which influences 42% and has direct control over 25% of our total greenhouse gas emissions. At COP26, UK GBC launched the Whole Life Carbon Roadmap, a common vision and agreed actions for achieving net zero carbon in the construction, operation and demolition of buildings and infrastructure in the UK. This includes a science-based carbon trajectory to achieve net zero carbon by 2050 and five key priorities which government and industry need to support and implement across the sector in order to deliver net zero for the built environment. One of the key priorities is the nationwide retrofitting of existing homes. The biggest challenge we face is decarbonising the existing housing stock, which represents 16% of the UK's total domestic emissions. The UK housing stock is one of the oldest in Europe. Approximately 50% of houses have uninsulated walls and 85% of homes use a gas boiler for heating. To meet our net zero target, 29 million houses will need retrofitting by 2050, which is equivalent to almost two homes every minute. Transformational change will only be possible through a carefully coordinated national retrofit strategy, which enables and supports financing, capacity, standards, quality, consumer protection, public engagement and delivery. A national retrofit strategy offers a huge opportunity to level up across the UK by alleviating fuel poverty by ensuring lower energy bills for consumers and higher comfort standards, as well as creating up to 500,000 new higher skilled jobs across the country, and saving lives by ensuring that our homes are healthy, comfortable and warm. A fabric-first retrofit approach that prioritises energy demand reduction is the first step to eradicating fuel poverty. We also need to address energy sources. Gas and all fossil fuel systems for heating must be phased out and heat pumps or other low carbon technologies installed instead. As we understand our home's energy performance better, we can optimise our energy use and empower homeowners through financial incentives to install on-site renewables and to store and trade energy flexibly. The roadmap puts forward key policy recommendations for both central government and local authorities. We believe that local authority leadership will be essential in decarbonising our homes and we are working to provide resources and support to build retrofit capacity within local authorities. Finally, we also need coordinated action from industry, including upskilling and developing robust supply chains. Whilst the nationwide retrofitting of existing homes is a critical component to focus on, there are four other key priority areas which should be tackled. Look out for our other videos exploring each of these key priorities in more detail. To find out more about the roadmap, please visit our website.